You guys made a jingle. I did. I did not. We made a jingle. Yes. Uh, ben is yes. Yeah. Yeah. Made a jingle. <laughs> Mendy. Well, what up, everybody? It's I, J. Isaac, Isaac Jacob, assistant host to assistant deputy to to Avery here. Back on the Shidduch podcast. How is everyone doing today? Episode eighty-one: Food, Family, and Guilt. We're here pontificating and discussing and steiging with Chef Mendy Wolf. Mendy, what's up, holy brother? How are you doing? <laughs> How are you? How's your first podcast going? It's the right? longest applause I've ever gotten for anything. Well, well, for very who are you? S- well, you know what? Your, your clientele's Jew- from Jews, and I, I, I understand. I've gotten, oh, I've gotten applause on the job. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Um, those are the best jobs. Mm. But I, I would say I'm doing well. Pretty well today. Thank you. Well, thank you. Avery, how are you doing, by the way? What's going I'm on? I'm going to feign enthusiasm. With you? With you? <laughs> I'm going to feign enthusiasm for this podcast. I'm so excited Amazing. to be here. Wow. I I'm so flattered. <laughs> so much. I'm so flattered. I, well, Mendy's exciting. I'm excited to see Mendy. Thank you so much. I don't uh, know. We are. We are. IJ, well, it's funny how we all met. Yeah, I know. It is funny that we just met in the parking lot. This was before. That's Jones. not. We met. Yeah. We, we, did it, we did an event. We I did met an you event. at, at Begun. Well, we had begun, right. Actually, right before. before. No, right before, right. You at Mosaic? So we all Mosaic. did a, uh, well, basically, Avery, you li- you did a shidduch event. Mendy right. was uh, yeah, hired. I, I and hosted right back and forth about maybe I was going to grill the whole time or maybe not. And right, 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 right before then. I hosted. Right uh, before uh, then, I think we met you at Begon- Benny's. Right. At Benny's. Broker Ben. Broker. Right. First of all, wait a second. Wait a second. It's Ben now. It's Ben now? You ever heard of this thing? Like, people get married, they have a kid, and then they move into a community, and they go, my name's Ben, not Benny. Simple. And then it goes uh-huh. to Mr. Mister last name. So you go into a barbershop and you ask for a dad haircut. Oh, like a, a dad simple. haircut. Well, my barber doesn't speak any English, so that's <laughs> true story. I can see that. No, his <laughs> name's <laughs> Junior. Like, Junior. No, I talked to him in the app. It's Was he one of the ones that came so, up from so Texas? You want, you want to Greg <laughs> Abbott? Yes, that is. Yes, right? Isaac, did that you is. want him to write that on the back? Uh, where, where, what is, is written on the back? No habla. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, and my and my hair. Look at that. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh god. How did that happen? So an HBO Sopranos phenomenal depiction rendition of Italian American life. Perhaps the most relatable aspect of the show of this show, The Sopranos, that was on for what is it, seven years, eight years, was literally the number one show in the entire world. At least American people say it's like the quintessential television show. That's what t- that's what TV is. Critics, critically critics, acclaimed. right? Critically I didn't acclaimed. Watch it. Love it. Oh my God, I didn't Mendy, what are you killing me? I'm over sorry. Here. Starting yeah. this fall, yeah. Mendy you Wolf want? takes on the Sopranos. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, seriously. Homework cooking. But uh, okay, no what? It's not even. It's not like a such an important part yeah. about the show, but about this show at least. This it's about the life. Yeah. Let's but hear basically, it. is that the, the, the show depicts all things about food, eating, cuisine. Avery and I was thinking, aka I was thinking, what is the role yeah. okay. of food in the Jewish community? What does it mean to? Our community, our does it mean more to our community than others? And I think that's kind of like a just a little topic there, and we can get into it. And I know, and then I said, Avery, who do we know? And then we knew Chef Boy RD, but he wasn't available. <laughs> mm. you know, the can just didn't talk back. Yeah, we threw it against the wall. Yeah, it just yeah. didn't work. And then we knew this other chef, and then we were like, you. That's what it. Happened? Oh, who is other chef? The other chef, the other chef was this very attractive young lady whose shidduch resume just stuck out to us. And bro, no hard feelings, no hard feelings. Now, why is that, by the I way? Why? Let me. Ask, why is it like? I never, I never met like a very like a like, in the shidduch in the shidduch verse, the shidduch verse. That's what we're rebranding it to be. In the shidduch verse, literally, you have people who if they're attractive, if they're attractive girls. I find them to be like nurses, not nurses anymore, but like makeup artists, hair, maybe an attorney, right? And then a guy, what's like a good looking guy, a good looking guy job? I don't know, a good looking giant guy job, like kind of Wall Street, something like that. 
So for for it's never a chef. I've I've like all the all the chefs I've gotten, all the female or Jewish. I could tell, like tell you the, the least attractive. Want to know the ugly guy jobs? <laughs> ugly guy jobs include mashkiach, <laughs> Rebbe's assistant. Rebbe's assistant. Okay. Yeah. Where yeah? Where uh, did you go to school? I, I, Guy who does youth groups in shul. What what that's what job do you have? Guy. Oh well, that's ugly guys I'm, too. Yeah, no, I do, I do. I, w- I will tell you that from from my, from my perspective, <laughs> wearing clothing to, to on a job or not even on a job. Yeah, I used to be. I used to wear nice shirt, nice nice blazer, button nice down. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, I used to dress for for business. I was in sales. Oh, and get out of here! Yeah, I was in sales for a bunch of years, and uh, once I started chefing, I completely changed my look. Wow. It's just, I don't, know, just, I, don't, I don't have time or patience. It to, became to dress casual, up. like it's a thing. It's just a casual a life. It, it, being a chef is a casual life in some ways because you have That's to. That's cool. Well, it's intense life. It depends what line of yeah. business you're in, but it's there's a casualness to it because there, to be a chef you have to be extremely creative. Yes. You have to be able mm. to think on your feet. You have to be able to not be someone who's bogged down with the tiny little details. So if you're mm. worried on a regular basis that your clothing is going to get tiny dirty here, tiny dirty there. Mm. If you're worried you're, about you're which way it. you look, done. it's just it's not your personality to be a chef. Now, there are chefs out there that are the exception. There are. Such as? There are. Are there I any know, famous? No one that I know. All the from yeah. ones I know, dress down. <laughs> all right, the dress time. down, yeah. Everyone's well, dressed down. Now, yeah, even the guys who wear a white shirt, it's like, uh, they're not they're not getting a high-end shirt. They're not getting crazy mm-hmm. nice pants. Okay. Uh, I, I hear that. I did. I worked for a chef, Saul Roth. He owns, he, used to, he, he used to do catering by Michael Schick. So, we used to do that and... That was the first time I saw. That was the first time I saw, like a from guy Naked man. dress up. What? No, check me. No, a from guy dress Second up. Time. That's the first time. Wow. Like fr- from guy dress up is like a legit chef. Oh. Uh, and I, 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 I almost fell over my seat. It was Pesach. I don't know, two thousand. Well, explain uh, the attire. Was he? What was he wearing? A, a hat. He was wearing the, hat. the chef hat. The long white. I'm just gonna say everything. Chef. Are you, chef hat. You're missing. Chef. Jacket, chef pants, chef shoes. You are missing. Was I uh, no, you didn't have the to. preeminent chef of <laughs> our ages, Chef Yo. Hey, oh, Chef Yo. Uh, that guy was great. Restaurant too. night with Chef yeah, Yo in Camp Door Golding. He was fantastic. Was right? our chef, cook, okay. chef, whatever you want to call it. Camp Door Golding was uh, pretty high end over there. I'm sure you guys had great food. Oh, yes. Uh, yes. It actually wasn't bad for camp food, but after five to 10 years, Oh, of yeah. eating it, yeah, boy, yeah. you get same sick. Exact so same I went. Menu I went to year. camp. I, I would, what I would give for camp food again? <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, I'll Good take no question. I loved how Good free times. it was. No, literally, it's I, the memories. It's I, the camp I, memories. We, we. I don't remember. I was in like I got lost one day in Borough Park, and I just ended up like stumbling into this to this uh, Hasidish joint. It was like the How I Met Your Mother episode of Marshall and the Greatest Burger, and literally. Gobbles. They had you. Would you watch that? Do you watch I that did show? Watch How I Met Your Mother. Right. I don't so, remember that exactly. So ba- Regis Philbin was in that one because like Regis oh. is in there and basically, whatever. Marshall's going on to like corporate America and he just wants the la- He remembers the first day he came to New York. He remembers this burger. So basically, what happened to me was, I was like, I got fired, and I was like, just ended up in Borough Park one day, and I just stumbled into this restaurant and they literally were serving. I can't remember if it was spaghetti or mac and cheese, but let's say it was spaghetti. And I was like, this is the spaghetti I had when I was in first grade in Beth Jacob, Beth Mary, a hole in the wall of yeshiva. And I'm like, I mom, I bought the whole place out. I bought the whole place out. And when I went back, it was like the store wasn't even there. It was like literally the tale of like Abraham in the desert. And (laughs) it was really angel. It was Malachim. It wasn't. It, it, that's isn't that it a magical thing, Avery? It's just a figment of your imagination. It's very, it is magical. It probably was. Speaking of spaghetti, by the way, <laughs> to this day I still eat a, a certain type of spaghetti that I buy from Mechels. Ooh! Every time I go to Mechels, you ever heard oh, of Mechels? Me- never heard of it. Uh, I have, I have. It's yeah. a Heimish. Like, I have like, heard like of Mechels. Yeah. Oily place. Oh wait, no, I'm thinking of Mechis. So every once in a while, I'm looking to clog, clog my arteries. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a craving I have. <laughs> so I go get a schnitzel sandwich from there. By the way, this is what happens after jobs. I work a job. I'm cooking high end food. I'm cooking four course dinners. Right after a schnitzel sandwich or take oh out. Oh my god! Never do you oh, eat? Do you eat on the job? Are you allowed to eat on I the job? I munch on the job, but like munch. by the time I'm finished, it I'm doesn't... just ready to get out. I'm tired oh, yeah. and I'm just ready to get out. Even if it's like getting out, driving down to some kosher joint and just ordering food and eating in your that, car. That's, that's better relaxing. than staying there. Yeah. And I get oh this spaghetti, god. this oily oh spaghetti, and this tomato sauce. That's I don't know. I, I, I had it. I had it first when I was what like do they, six, when, they when they when they say Chef Mendy, uh, we're finished, and you go. 
well, what do you want me to do with the leftovers? Yeah, take it for yourself. Is that, is that so it? Do you take that? Or what, do you donate to Time Shabbos? What's the deal? I don't, ask them, I don't ask them what to do with the leftovers. I leave it there, and nice. I would Bye-bye. say that I'm usually pretty good on amounts. There's not a ton of leftovers when I'm done. Mm. And That's thank good. God people eat the food. People like the food. It's good planning. I would say the jobs where we have a lot of leftovers are the traveling jobs. Why do you think here... Why do you think... Now, this is a Shidduch podcast, okay? Why do you think that cooking, chefing, culinary, that life, catering... Oh, the, I'm sorry. I was stepping on your wire. It's catering, like, you, it took okay. off. It took off. I got the last few years of the Shidduch, the old Shidduch system. Right. Where you would fax in your resume, you would meet meet the shachin. You remember the old days, and now when it's obviously it. WhatsApp and Instagram, and it's everything's so fast. The email is like yesterday already. Oh, no one emails. I've never no one. An email. No one even emails. I've right? I see that Avery. Business. I told you nobody emails. Okay, so stop. Every time I say Avery, you told me you meet some cute girls, and and mm-hmm. I say set me up with them, and they go, oh, I, I emailed. They'll be emailing you. I said nobody emails. He says, don't worry. Now I know. Basically, there's no email, right? There's no email coming in. If you're here as a punching bag. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's all right. His last day came from Truth Social, so don't. <laughs> Just leave him out. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. That was a good. Any, any girls over there on Truth Social? Not many. No, okay, no, no. but seriously. I if they are, they must what's be the deal? What's the deal? about how the shift. Think? The shift. So this the is shift. something I talk about a lot. I talk about the shift a lot. I love talking about the shift. There's... The, the way it works in the kosher industry is people always want bigger and better. There's, there's, and, and usually we're slightly behind on the, on the food, in the food aspect. We're slightly behind in the non kosher world. Obviously, I, I can't tell you exactly. I've never, thank God, I've never had not kosher. It was t- there was one drive up from Florida. I was sitting, I was driving, I was driving some other employees. Bring this a little closer. I was driving some other employees on, on a job back from Florida, and we stopped at Kentucky Fried Chicken to. And they had this bucket of chicken. I'm sitting in this car, and I literally went an hour out of my weight just so I could go get Chinese food. <laughs> so I did not have to be sitting next to a bucket of chicken. Oh, my God. Um, We're in, like, Georgia? It was, it was smack in the middle of nowhere. But it, oh, my I, God. You asked me about the shift. So, that the, so shift, the shift. Right. The shift. People want bigger and better. People always want to try the next flavor, the next flavor, the next new thing. If you look at the meats that we buy, the cuts have not changed since meat has been being mass produced. Okay? <laughs> the cuts have not now changed. You tell me. What's the difference? Is that they're packaging it differently. They're calling it other things. Kosher filet mignon is the center of a rib steak. That's basically what it is. Now, they mm. take a great cut, and they take good meat. But everyone's figuring out how to repackage things, rebrand things. So then what happens is you want bigger and better. So COVID came at the perfect time. There were, there were private chefs beforehand, before COVID. But what COVID did is it made it a popular thing. All of a sudden, everyone started hearing me about private, private chefs. It used yeah. to be what? You remember yeah. when sushi started? You remember sushi by, by Oh, my Dennis God. Was? I remember. Carving yeah. stations. I remember. And the next thing, private chefs. We're at the next stage in the firm market going above and beyond. Now, I, I know yeah, I'm I in the, the like industry that. and I kind of bought into it. But it does. Like, I always think, would I hire me if I was making a simple? Yeah, I, I don't know. That. I don't know. I, I, I hope I wouldn't. I, I talk about how I don't like to spend that type of money. Even if I had it, I wouldn't spend it, whatever. But I don't know. I don't know. Listen, it's pretty it's dang money, to have a yeah. private chef. It's pretty awesome to have a private But I chef. think it's a, also a financial, it is a budget. It, sometimes it could be an affordable alternative. So here's the going to a shul, renting a whole thing out, yeah. having the kit. You can just say, look, come to my house. We have a nice house. Right. Come cook. You can make a little bar mitzvah, a right. little, we- not a wedding, but like a little bar mitzvah, a little right. fam, 60th birthday. So COVID made that popular. And, and yeah, not just it did. that. It did. COVID, COVID completely changed it. But you have different classes of people hiring a private chef. You have a guy like, I'm just throwing a guy like Shiner, right? Who's going to take you to Morocco, right? Oh yeah. Oh, he's, yeah. And then you have, then you have people who want to just be a little better or a little classier. And then you have the people who are doing it for convenience or for budgeting reasons, trying to figure out how to where they want to spend their money. The, the entire town of, of Baltimore. <laughs> the entire city. On a budget is, of convenience. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Just oh God. throw Baltimore under the bus. All Baltimore. Baby One boy. fell swoop. Means so well. most, most of my <laughs> clients. <laughs> most and me. Them. I'm included with them. So. <laughs> you wish you had a Most of my clients are like Baltimore, I guess, yeah. in that case. Most, yeah. my client, most of my clients are hiring me because they, <laughs> it's, it's either convenience or they really just want to try better food. They're not tr- most of them are not trying to outdo their neighbors. Oh, and Some of them yeah. are. Some of them are. Yeah, I like that. I like that, actually, yeah. 
And then there are just people who just have money to spend and, and they just want a cool experience. It's funny. I know with my parents, right? Their method, their methodology, their way of thinking is I saw that the, the Weinsteins had or is divorce. Oh, mm-hmm. well, what are we going to get? So they have to like one up. That's all they think about. They don't think about anything else. Or derbs. There are, there are one ups. There are one ups. They think, yeah. It's the Calvin Blatt's had chicken. We're going to have meat. We Actually, I thought me. Oh yeah, we did the Stuffed charcuterie term. board. I've had right. people. I've had people say that. table. It's not a table. It's not a board anymore. It's a, it's a table. I've had hey, people. Actually, say it's a me. room now. I've had people say to me, "You remember you did this event? I want like that, but I want a little better. <laughs> oh, I want, I want better. I, I want, like that. I want oh, more this. How often do you get that? Probably not too often, honestly. And I'm grateful that my clients are the type of people who aren't <laughs> that much like that because I enjoy cooking for them. For me to, to for me to cook for somebody, I have yeah. when I walk into the kitchen, I turn on the music keep a few things. I turn on the music, I pull out my knives, and I turn on all the lights and open all the window shades. I'm like Hannibal Lecter. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and then I go with the tarp from oh, my does car. Does he do yeah. it? Oh, he That's does do that. <laughs> I never saw, I never Shop. saw, like, I've, I've seen all the, 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 the world That's right now. What, actually, it's, his name you know, is Billy, the, the killer in the movie. Like, but never. I've seen all the, fina- like, the big movies, and I can't see that one. It's just too much. I did not it watch it, but I, I, I get no. the Yeah, how do you eat meat after that? Tastes pretty good, honestly. Let me ask you a the, uh, is this affordable for a first date, a second date? Is it worth it? Depends Higher. what type. I mean, first I mean, date, I, would, I mean, it's expensive uh, now. If someone came to me for a first date, I would be like, you would dude, like, like, yeah. I never wait, even met the girl. Wait till you're, uh, I mean, at least six, seven dates in minimum. People do this for a proposal. Yeah, like, yeah, like yeah, yeah. I okay, did a proposal. But okay, like, but, okay, but, but so what is that? Don't tell me. First what is that like? Proposal. That proposal. A proposal. I'm saying by by hiring and hiring you. Or, sh- or a private shot, any private shot. I mean, it, it, it lends a different atmosphere because a proposal is personal, right? Now, for some reason, proposals are very popular over food. Oh, or yeah. Or at the end of a meal. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would say, listen, American we're going to get into this, but food, food, food American is wedding, so emotional. Actually. Food is so emotional. So you have amazing food and then you have a proposal. And uh, you, you want to know what goes into it? Like what? what uh, well, so you're saying, first, first thing is you're like, if you do something like this, me, you could say IJ. Yeah, don't spend this you know, type of money this on is, a girl. This, this, is, this is like 10 di- This I'll is take, at least I'll take the money. Dated. I'll take the money You'll very, the money. very gladly, but please don't do <laughs> you're it. You're going to consult. Please don't do it. <laughs> but it's magical. Like, you understand? This is, you get one chance. Okay, you you get one chance. chance. You could, you could, you're, you, if you're, you're okay date, setting right? that standard. You're a dater. Are you, are you willing to tell us? You tell someone to go to Tabernacle for a date. Let's see, Tabernacle. Tabernacle and, uh, yeah, and yeah, yeah, order okay. the most expensive things on uh, the first date. Well, what if she if you had no other option, A, that's always that's always option. possibility. So during COVID, right. fine. But right. Like, during COVID, they just opened up. They're like, we're a nursing home. It's okay. We right. can open up. <laughs> it is tough in Save Manhattan to so find true. kosher food. It is. Because it's owned by difficult. Centers Healthcare, based or whatever the same. Have, have we family, love them. I have Guys, a family member who's, who's very, very involved there. I went one time. Very and involved it was like there. Everyone, it was so many influencers and, and then Avery was there and I was like what are you, what are you doing here? Avery get out of here get out of here yeah uh, I was there also we had a f- I, oh actually I wasn't there with you I was not I never well, I was there. been there I was there with my other job my other people crazy there's always that what other people you know? let's hear about this oh, I, I, f- the my, family my from Mexico boss, which my one boss was? wanted to go the, drink, the day job and he's oh. well, we're going to a client sir, and it ended up being tabernacle and we just checked around the phones and he's literally 30 seconds alright let's, let's go sit down let's eat let's order and, nice. and it was me, him, and two other guys. That was the food. I guy. have not been. So and I'm I, very picky. Everything was okay. Everything was, I, I would say, I ordered that Asian bowl and you stick stuff in it. Poke bowl? No, oh, no. no. The, 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 the Mushu Shushu. Nintendo 64. The <laughs> 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 you order? Uh, they have this dish there, this signature dish. And you poo-poo platter. I don't know, something like that. You take, and yeah. you take, so I ordered like, this thing thinking like I'm getting s- like f- meat and ch- I'm not there on the shidduch date so I'm gonna go big and my boss is paying you got some chicken nuggets oh my god they, they give you like like a little strip of meat and the rest is like fillers go like home vegetables with the- and onions and I'm like what am I gonna do I'm gonna dipping it in and Come anyway for I would honestly <laughs> I think three four five dates I mean definitely not the first the one two three right so don't you know, hire private chef first date I wouldn't hire okay so first date Avery you hear that no no first date also, uh, don't go worried. on a date yeah. with a private chef to a nice restaurant. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Uh, do you know any females all they do in this business? All they do is talk about the food. No, no, no. Not, not, don't go with not don't go You mean don't a, go with fem- me. a counterpart? Oh, don't go with you. me. A counterpart oh, yes. chef. Somebody who is in the chef industry. No. The culinary industry. No, I mean, don't go with a private chef to a restaurant. Ever. A high-end restaurant. Nothing to do with dating. They're just critiquing. The, I, know, I know me. I, 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 I have such a hard time going to high-end It's called going to a restaurant with Jews. 
<laughs> it has nothing to do with I get very Jewish. Chef. I get very Jewish when he I'm in a high-end just, restaurant. Yeah. Oh, my God, yeah. All of a sudden, you care the about the waiter service <laughs> as if you could even... Lucky you even have a waiter. Jeez. We're freaking lucky to be alive. <laughs> Kidding me? Waiter service? Hey, I eat us. tuna and spaghetti place. every night. I'm worried about the waiter service. Tell us about gratitude. Go ahead. Please. Have some gratitude, gratitude, Avery. I will. I will. Is that a thing? Like, I heard... I, be grateful. Yes. I heard once from a girl, I was I was asking her. I asked them. I, I pull out a survey after I go on these dates because I've been going out a little bit more pull out recently. out a survey after a date? No, no, not a whole hour. I, Is this I after started first date or second out. date? At, if they say no, I'll message them. I'll, I'll message them and I will say... Is this after no or yes? No, I want to know. This is after the no. After yeah, a no. You this pull is out a survey and you I'll call pull the out a survey. Yeah, I'll send them. I'll just say, hey, I'm just <laughs> curious. Look, we didn't work you, out. It's okay. Huh. Very um, impressive, actually. What do you... Th- like... Uh, what would you say? See, what can I out. make myself? Mindy, you should attractive. see before the date. He has a they little get captcha. Flattered. They have a captcha. They look at the numbers. Can you see <laughs> I this? Am bus? Not a robot, <laughs> right? I am not a robot. Not Actually, a robot. most of them are yeah. robots. That's the truth. <laughs> anyway, okay, that button <laughs> over there. No, no, because we're gonna have to move on to the next topic. But basically, <laughs> don't I, Avery the button. I do, I do, do that. I don't want like, to. I'm telling you right now because like, Avery knows. I restarted yeah. my shidduch journey. I spent 15 months in the shidduch underworld. Underworld, yeah, yeah, the underworld. What's yeah. the shidduch underworld? It looks like a nineteen fifty seven jalopy. A jalopy, right? No, it's basically it's. A, think about it. Think about all those girls you might have gone out with. You used to go out with. Like, where did they end up? Where did the guys? Where did the ex base Yaakov guy, the the, the ex base Yaakov girls, and the ex Shiva buckers go? There's an underworld out there. Yeah. I think I saw uh, you at a party. It's, it's, n- oh, it's not an underworld. It's um, that's what I reference. It's a, com- it. it's a completely different world now. No shidduchim. Like there, no no sh- <laughs> no shadchan. There's no shadchan. There's no shadchan. It's not shidduchim, but I'll no, call it the shidduchim. People are open to you know? suggestions, but it's more. Listen, we're both adults. Let's get each other's phone numbers. Let's yeah. set up the date. Let's meet each other. But I don't know. It doesn't I, work out. Mandy, I was I on a date with a girl. I was yeah. on a date with a girl. And after at halfway through the date, it was the second date. I realized that this girl is just not for me. We were, mm-hmm. ha- we were having a nice time talking to each other. It was a very just, she was a nice person to get to you know. Knew, you and know. I said, I said, halfway through, I basically said, listen, I'm just being real. Like, I'm not looking to waste your time. So if you want to go home, I'm happy to go home. But we were planning on going and getting drinks after we got food. And I said, wow. I said, do you still want to go get drinks? Still just schmooze and finish up the date? She said, sure, let's go drinks. We ended up schmoozing. And similar to what you're talking about, I ended up asking her a couple of questions that I would not have asked on a second date. Now, things I was curious about are things that, that I was curious that, that she reacted to, you know, things that I had shared with her. Mm. I, love that. I can't hear that, that. That's called being vulnerable and opening <laughs> up, which is not what people do in the shit yeah. up world, or not generally not what we are accustomed to doing or how dating. I, I've Anything. been starting to tell, like at singles events, like I'll tell a girl if I if it's calls for it, if, sure. if, if that her repertoire is there, or if my 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 I'm, my it's not my persona is feeling it, I'll say. You're like you're very attractive. What are you doing here? You you should be well, married. You got, you got the pickup lines, huh? Yeah, and uh, just, I am married. I am. <laughs> and and they like, go f- oh no! But Good. it kind of like opens up this window because I feel like when you're from Orthodox Jew, and, and whether you're like from from or just modern, like you're kind of tr- you're really trying to like respect the women. You're trying to respect you them. Should. Well, you're no, tr- no, well, you're, you, you are respecting them, but you're yeah. trying. Like in the in the from kite world, where like you don't touch them, you, you kind of keep a distance. You're very modest, and what's on TV is different. You got to be cool. You got to be like, yo, what's right, good? So it's trying to find some you sort get, of happy so meeting. Trying to trying to find the meeting. Yeah, trying to find the middle ground. I would say first of all, for, first of all, I'm not the pro on shidduch. I spent a very short time in the shidduch world. Ooh, I I married the second girl I did it in shidduch. Wow, Mazel Tov. It didn't work out, and and five yeah, years no, later, you're, you're in the you're in the you're you're w- you're with us. You're with Holy Brothers right here. You guys are divorced? No, we're well soon from <laughs> each other. From no, each kidding. Other. <laughs> I'm kidding. You know, we did an episode. He's got to be. I got a marriage proposal Divorce. turned down. No, no, murder, murder. I'm so you know? killed her. Kidding? No, I didn't kill her. <laughs> you're a widow. You're a widow. <laughs> He's a widow. He's widower. A widow. Widower. I'm sorry. Widow. I didn't do it. No, I'm kidding. No, no I'm, I'm kidding what, around. What the hell is going on? Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Have you guys been married before? No, no, we both have not. I have, not, I have not been. I don't know. Have you been married, Avery? I paid a lot in taxes. So, I so been I'm not married. talking about alimony or child support. Have you been married? No, no, no never no, been no. married. <laughs> single. <laughs> you can clearly tell that we're single. You guys are so single. You guys are so single. You can't hear the. You guys have never been married. No, I'm never. No, no, never, never. You're way too neat to to, to have been divorced. <laughs> oh yeah, I am actually really neat. Yeah, 
Mm-hmm. I'm neat also. Like I'm neat. No, and I'm, I'm saying like, once, You're a neat guy. once guys get divorced, it's 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 hard, it's hard to keep the standards of not yeah. cleanliness, but the keep the your life in order. As you, you get you, you get used to doing it with someone else to yeah. to to, to, to living that life with someone else. You just, just like, become a mess. Is what you're saying? <laughs> I, I you would, just veg out. I mean, okay. I I know my mood based on if my laundry is folded and my bed's made. Oh, uh, okay. It's been a while. Okay. <laughs> Here's the thing, by the way. Here's I think I think I kind of like really got more familiar with in, in, in the shidduch on the world was like the levels of keeping kosher. I didn't realize there's there's a level thing. Like in the past, Shad Hanum have actually reached out and said, so tell me about your from Kai. I say, oh, I'm like, I'm, I learned in yeshiva. Not now. I don't do this now. But but I learned in yeshiva. And I'm thinking of the most humra stuff, the, humra, mm-hmm. the most humra dick stuff. Mm-hmm. And literally, I kind of like always forgot to be like, yeah, like I'm show, I'm, M- I'm SS, SK. S, S, I don't know, whatever the S's are. Show yeah, yeah. And tell him your first kiss. I realized, like, was tell him my curse. Your first kiss was with the mezuzah. That's Actually, all. it was with Sippy. We were in, we were, f- I was six. Sippy? I was four. She was six. No, oh. I was five. She was seven. No, oh. she was six, actually. Do you go and out now with, she's, do you still go out with older girls? He did. Yeah, right. Older girls. Till they turn 25. He and Leo. He messed me up. I was on my parents' bed, actually. It's an interesting story. Leo DiCaprio is like a real shit updater. Literally. One. I'm going to put the time. Oh, you want to put his time stamp on? Is Leonardo DiCaprio a real shit updater or not? And he is single girl, twenty five. The Shah Khanim would be floored with him. He's a creep. Can you if imagine? If that's I would go crazy. He's a creep. I think I would respect. He's still playing the game. Good I, for him. Come on. Every girl. Forty five years old. Every girl. Respect. No, that's, respect, there's something bro. psychological. Respect. There is something psychological. That's for there. sure. He's that's a child. Sure. He hasn't yeah, grown listen, up. Everyone knows. He didn't. He was being never an actor, a child. And nor should he, yeah. Being an actor does make you crazy. Does. You I don't have think to it, have a certain level of crazy. I, I don't think it makes them crazy. A certain level of crazy. I know a lot of actors. I've gotten to know a bunch of them, at least in the last whatever amount of time. Really? I don't think they're crazy. What do you mean a lot of actors? I've met actors. I've been taking improv classes. So I know people who are actors. Like, like real actors that I've seen in movies? No, not in movies. No, no. no so I'm talking at no, that like level. Oh, at that, that level, level you're, you, you've well, sold your soul shows. to the devil. I know people who've done you Broadway sold your soul shows. to the devil. Straight up. Ooh. I think a lot what of them. Was the time before, by the way, like a minute ago. No, I don't 20 know. Se- Twenty six minutes. I think a lot of them are nice, normal people. They just have a craft that they work on, which ena- enables them or actually requires them to be a little crazy. So that's how they okay but portray you, themselves for that. David reason. Schwimmer. David Schwimmer. After Friends. Mm. Yeah. He said that his personality changed because he was yeah. acting as Ross for ten ten years. Oh, well, ten years. A classic case of Heath Ledger, oh, right? Yeah. Heath Ledger, right? People say that's why he killed himself. It's not exactly according to his family, but yeah, you have to be, you have to have that person acting. What acting is, it's you just amplified. It's different. A part of very you. different parts of you that you have. It's that a, most people right. don't usually amplify. Yeah, it's a part you of you that you, you that you yes. have to amplify yeah. in order for it to be interesting. Would you go out with an actor if the girl was an actor and like an actress? Actress, yeah. Well, now the ter- the proper term is act- the part the proper parlance is actually actor, I guess. Now it is an like actor. They got yeah. rid of the actor. Would you go with a they them actress? No, 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 no. no, no, no. <laughs> That's two different things. <laughs> actually, it's fun. Actually, it's really interesting. You just mentioned that because I literally got just the other day on one of these dating sites. My sec no, my third grade crush, literally, and we went yeah. out for a little bit. This is different from Sydney. Tore this any, is different. Yeah. Is this one tore any time? I, now all of a sudden I have grown. Guys, I went on a cold streak after this. This guy talks about how he doesn't get dates, <laughs> but apparently he's been playing the game. No, but I'm like, five. and it's funny. She actually had some like drama stuff on there. Now, if I'm in Shidduchim, I'm, I'm, I'm looking. If I see that stuff, I'll tell you there, there's a stigma. And I do. I'm a little content. I'm a little complacent about giving a yes and trying it out. But I'm a little bit more open minded about it now. I'm more content. I'm, ho- I'm held back. You don't give a yes as much. I won't, right? I'm like, you're oh, hesitant. It's weird. You're I'm reticent. Hesitant. He- hesitant, yeah. 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 So that's, you would, you would jump at it now. I don't know if I would jump at it. I think, uh, I think creative people are interesting. You're a creative person, so I find you interesting. Right. You're back. Right. I'm saying he's like, a ten, like 10 years so ago, oh, he's a chef. Oh, get out. Yeah. Not no. even, now it's like top of the, re- this thing no, goes right I was right asking to the about top. an actress because would you date someone who's used to putting on different personas? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm. So simple. I'm a pusher to yid. I could, she, as long as she <laughs> tells me she's going to make me chal and I'm in. You really should be in Shadokim. <laughs> well, I went Shidduchim. back. Shidduchim. I, went, I went back now. Like I'm in, I'm in it again. Well, I mean, all, n- no girls in the underworld, as you call it. The underworld, Most I'm of them out. don't cook. Most of them don't cook. No, I know. Was this one of your questions before? Or 
Right. Yeah, no, yeah. One of the questions are, yeah, what's the deal with that? Girls don't, the girls don't cook anymore. What yeah. happened? So Tell it, us. You also, go, go ahead. So you also, you have to take into account, first of all, that going back, I don't know, 100 years, women spent most of the time in the home. They spent most of the time in the home. Their mother spent most of the time in the home, and they spent most <laughs> of the time in the home growing up. Basiako came, and I'm not saying, not, 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 not a bad thing at all. Basiako came and changed the world. Where they belong, changed obviously, the right? Just a little fire. Oh, yeah. I, <laughs> oh I, I, like I like that. I like that. Yeah. Well, I, why well, can Helen Keller drive? <laughs> she was busy. No, getting, no, I'm not editing. I'm getting an abortion. She's a woman. <laughs> I'm not editing. We, this is, we're not like as powerful as Joe Rogues yet. We, we just. How many people actually listen? We, Real talk. We have we have regular listeners. Thirty five hundred, four thousand regular listeners. Absolutely. Thirty five hundred people. You are could listening buy. To this you right could get now. the information out there. To you the thirty five hundred people that Helen Keller joke was. It takes some time. It takes about a month, <laughs> yeah. though. It takes a long time. It takes about yeah. a month, six weeks to. Because the thing is, we're not a. We're only a, six weeks to our, get thirty five hundred. Our podcast is like on a, uh, specific topics. Got it's it. not like a weekly show where people are like, I need so to kill tune time. When have the time. People are actually like, and our show's like very trigger. So I'm like, the, mo- the biggest feedback I have is, oh, I listened to this one. I listened to every episode except for this one and this one and this one. It's like, <laughs> that I could not listen so to that. Everyone episode. has Sorry. an episode they don't want to Everybody. listen to. Everybody. Everyone. Li- I have, to, I have buttons. one or two. I love it. So you- <laughs> no, because that's what it is. Like, I push buttons here. Yeah. So you want me to answer why <laughs> I think... Yeah, women tell me what's the deal. Anymore. Talk, tell so me I, about I, the situation there. So again, we're we're a, a girl grows up in a home. She learns every, most things from her mother. Most things. Most girls emulate their mother. Most girls want to be like their mother, as they should be. And what's happened is the mother has stopped spending time in the home. I'm not taking sides here. I'm not talking about feminism. I'm just stating facts. The mother has stopped spending time at home. And the girls aren't seeing an example of of the old old types of women. It's just different the world's different most women are working either part-time jobs full-time jobs and again that's also why being a private chef is becoming a more po- popular thing it used to be a chef that many chef that i've cooked at these women who have hired me they usually would be doing it themselves they oh, for whatever yeah. reason they don't want to be busy with it and i'm doing it or i do meal prep for somebody every week she's working full-time okay. it's and and again i'm not saying yes or no what, so what the best way is it's just this is the facts of the matter so women so aren't being brought so up with a love for cooking to feed a family. I'm not talking about a love for cooking for the creativity, but to feed a family. It's just not something that's wow. being brought in as an example as much. I'm not, there's plenty of women still at home cooking, but I mean, I'm sure you've seen it. And this is a conversation that's talked about constantly is that our, it's not for me to say, but are women, do women feel as fulfilled being a mother, being, being, bringing up children? Do women feel that as much as they used to? Probably not. Mm-hmm. Personally, I'm going to say this. I don't think I don't think there's any exact roles for men and women specifically, but there are certain things. Well, I'm sorry. Let me backtrack. There are many things men and women can do equally. Yeah. There are very oh. certain things which men cannot do. There are very certain things which women cannot do. There are physical things. There are emotional things. There are spiritual things. Hundred percent. In the former world, a woman who isn't if 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 there's a marriage and the woman isn't a spiritual person, the spirituality in the home declines. Yeah. Because if it's up yeah. to us men, when it comes to spirituality, it's hard sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Not when we're at shul and it's like third round of the rebbies, whatever they, what do they, what do they say? Stelling out the alcohol there. <laughs> Again, yeah, I love that point though. You're so, you're so right on that. Like they, they're really, I, that's what I've been, that's what I've been discussing with Shad Hanum where I, I tell them, I said, I'm not really so interested in like certain backgrounds. I usually throw in academia or like real corporate executives, which I actually have tailored, like I have pulled back actually with that because yeah. I, I actually have met some like Being more open to executive it. girls who happen to be very feminine, but the academia thing right. or, or very, very from sometimes. Right. And exactly that. And they would go, what, what? Look, this is the reality. And I said, but this is, you're right. This is the reality. But they're, they're I, want I, them I tell them, that. I said, That's the nice. reality is also that if their focus like from their mother or from their father was like you got to work and you got to have eight degrees or you have to have a big corporate job or it does take away from the f- from that f- that intimacy that like fem- and again that that, that's their t- choice that i've seen that's not a, all the time choice, not yes all the no. time right by the way i've seen homes also and I, I i get to be like a fly on the wall sometimes in homes yeah oh that's get true see, right i right. get to see a lot mm. of homes where women are either very, very equal partners, or sometimes even 
doing more financially, more just in general around the home. Sometimes yeah. the men are traveling yeah. and oh yeah. Sometimes the men are traveling and the only thing they're doing is sending back a check. Basically, oh, wow. my father ran That's away when check. I was four years old, and my mom carried us all in the house. I well, know. never know what <laughs> the thing is. Well, when, no that, that actually that, that was, was actually good. interesting yeah, thing because we did what discuss one time and we brought on. I think it was I think it was Ricky. Yeah, Ricky Armish came on and she was. We were discussing like this uh, this setup and this background and and it works actually, sometimes by the way. We're actually we're sometimes. actually really saying that the truth is this has actually been happening for a long time because women used to do the books of the business. Right. They used to they they really did, did cover the fine like they did they contribute like. It was, oh, it was everyone, very, everyone knows when it comes to details, yeah. Uh, yeah. a guy is. But just the cooking, not but the cooking, the, the crazy thing is, the cooking is for those of us who grew up with the, the cook. Women know how to handle themselves in the kitchen, and men but have don't. not. It's a power. And now struggle. it's like the total opposite. It's power so, struggle. So I didn't total. grow up. I didn't grow up like that. Yeah. Really? I, I, I'm pres- I you have to uh, watch somebody. I learned from my father. Wow. My mother. Cooked all the time, all the time. She cooked great wow. food. Oh, really? But What's she that? let my father cook as much as he wanted. Right. And she also let me cook as much as I wanted. Oh, wow. So, so nice of her. Yeah. No, it's, it's a healthy outlet. It is. But it's very hard to find women who are open to people coming into the kitchen yeah. and cooking. That's it's a hard they're, thing. They're very, they're, Look that's at their uh, territory. Yeah. That's their territory. What makes Breaking Bad so great the first four seasons, right? He's cooking. Is that, well, not that he's cooking. <laughs> no, no, no. Is that Walter needs to feel like he's the man of the house that he's able to leave his children that's off with something. That's what completely shifted him. That's what completely shifted him. him. It's really the big change he is that went a little far. his person's ego was I'm going to leave my children with millions of dollars enough to get by. $750,000 right to get by yeah, about, right. without me. And that's what the male the stereotypical male even people who are more liberal the non-Jewish Walter White professor right. and whatever had that same mentality because it was a man's job to provide. Yeah, but is that a little bit of a egotistical mentality? I'm not saying That's don't leave. Any, I'm not is saying it? don't leave anything. But yeah. he, let's take Breaking Bad. Yeah. He, he decided that he wanted to leave a certain some money to get them through whenever. Yeah, he he could have left them with five years. And Why would he have to go sell meth, cook meth, uh, to leave them with thirty years? That's all he knew how to do, though. That's they, all. Eventually, they, they, they would have been okay all without all him. Had to do. Eventually, they would have been okay without him. Oh, with the people move on. Oh, it's true, right? I'm not. I'm not saying. Well, I'm that's not, part I'm of the ego. But then there's struggle. no show. I'm not but saying death no isn't show. tragic. <laughs> right, part of the life. Psychoanalyzing. Uh, I found. Uh, it, I found it incredibly psych- like psychologically yeah. fascinating that show. Part of life is that you have to realize oh, yeah. that people will be okay without you. Just giving them the yeah. tools to cope without you is more than enough. Yeah. Is more than financial support. Yeah. Right. Giving him the tools, giving his children the know-how, the knowledge. He should have taught them how to life. cook math. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, they should ta- teach them how to live life. Yeah. How to be happy with themselves? It's. I'll tell you again. I'm. I'm. I'm not the pro on parenting at all. I just try my best. But as a father, I can tell you that's. That's pretty much my main goal, just to show my son how to be happy and just be a good person. What if he th- turns out like that? Well, I'm that. happy. I love that. Yeah. No, oh, thanks for sharing, Mendy. I try. What, what do you think? Uh, look, uh, guys like us, right? We're we're single. We're, we've been in the shidduch core. Shidduch core. I explained. Did I explain the shidduch core? I, all the all the righteous Gentiles in my office, they they joined the peace core. They're in the Peace Corps. So I said, I'm in the Shidduch Corps. <laughs> Only Jews say corpse. And then I said, right, corpse, corpse. <laughs> Everyone else is Peace Corps. We so say I said the Peace corps. Corps. Yeah. So I said corpse. So I'm like, yeah, I'm in the, I was in the Shidduch Corps. Yeah. So we've been in it for some time. I've been in it some time. Avery, whatever, whatever. What could we, what could, what <laughs> could I start whatever. doing? Whatever, take it, take what you What can I start doing that. to preparing as a, as a father? What, how can I do this? What should I do? Should I adopt the dog? Lo- I feel, uh, should I, should I adopt like a little a loaded, puppy no, named should, Avery? A puppy's not going to do nothing for you. <laughs> a puppy's... <laughs> no. I already bark. I poop on his lawn. I would say, listen, the Sean Bias part, Bias part you're pro- probably prepped for. For a while. Right. No, I, I'm so, on a serious note. You living so? with a roommate. Yeah, living with a roommate yeah. definitely definitely helps. It yeah. helps. You have to learn to... I you have to learn that. to give. You have to learn to... Fagin. Fagin. You, you got to be... Like, you got to be... You can't be aloof. There are times when I, I walk out, I'm the most aloof person. I don't want to look at anybody. But I got to switch it. Like, I'm coming home. We got to leave all the problems at the door. But yeah. Uh, certainly, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. You get pretty finicky about a lot of things, to be honest. That explains <laughs> why there's the baseball bat markings on the wall, which is what he does. He <laughs> just smashes have, yeah. it. I have... Remember from Matilda, home. that movie Matilda? Like, I have that... That uh-huh. You ever seen the movie Matilda? I, did, I don't remember. We have Except to do a movie night. Pink. We have to do a movie night. You, me, Avery, you can come if you want, whatevs. Okay, no, as you were saying, so with this, 
Yeah, when, I, he's not, when he's not busy in the kitchen, I'll be walking. Well, I'm gonna be walking the dog. <laughs> it's just it's a at the end yeah. of the day, it's a it is a it, it becomes tumultuous. There is a, a there is an exorbitant amount of change that these girls, our age bracket, right? I know a little bit more or less how old you're. Our age bracket, like they just didn't see growing up, like they who did they have to look to who was a role model in a good way who. So, did keep the old traditions and also went out and took America. Well, let, let's also let's 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 even the playing field a little bit. There's been a complete shift in the firm world in general. Ooh, it's I not like just that. by women. The men also. I, if you had a podcast here, here with three with three women sitting here, they would be talking about how the men a change. How, how, we, how we, we've they changed. They're not real men anymore. I think that's no. One thing men I have heard. become a lot more emotional, a lot more emotionally oh, yeah. in touch with themselves. Yeah. Men have become. I would again. I, we're generalizing here a little bit, but in the firm world, I think it's very, I think it's more. In the firm world, people people who people who are a little burnt <laughs> out of a certain way of doing things, maybe the more serious way, the more intense way, the people who want to break from that are are moving to more toward a joyful way of life, a different way of life. Yeah, yeah. Putting joy before other things sometimes. Putting yeah. joy before certain things in life. Right. Um, maybe I won't save this money. I'm gonna. I'll spend it. I'll do something for the right. family for me. Because right. that's what that, that's how Spending our parents' instead instead generation, for yeah. retirement. our parents' generation was like, you can never enjoy anything. So Everything let me must, sum this up. all the money must be put, put tucked away under the, under the, right. under the couch, under the, yeah, yeah. retirement, you know, retirement. That's so it. I, let me blow your mind a little bit. I'm ready. To sum this up, we are living in a world now of instant gratification. And men and women like are looking for instant gratification. So men are becoming more emotional. Men are becoming more the types who we don't want to hold in feelings anymore. We want that. Re- we want the release. We want to be able to go to therapy. We want to mm. be able to take a break from work. Men aren't working as hard. Men are traveling a lot more. Men are giving in a lot more to their yeah. emotional side of things. Women are wanting instant gratification also. Raising children is not instant gratification. <laughs> There are certain parts of it which are amazing and, yeah. and beautiful and are instant gratification, but the general subject of child rearing is not instant gratification. You don't get to see the results right away. Right. You, you can say the same thing to a kid 50 times within an hour, or you can try to lead by example 50 times and the kid still will not get it. So a woman who's stuck in the home or feels stuck in the home wants to do something, wants to accomplish. Women more than men want to accomplish, by the way. Women are more ambitious than men. Mm, I like are that. a lot more ambitious than I like that. But they want to accomplish. And if they don't feel accomplished in the home, they need to go get a job. They need to go yeah. get a degree. They need to do something bigger than themselves. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because and the ones that figure it out. And cooking, it. And, and cooking every day and cooking every day and trying to take care of your children and doing sure. the lunches and doing all these mundane, seemingly mundane stuff yeah. doesn't carry as much meaning anymore. Yeah. And I have, I have complete reverence for people, whatever yeah, they you, do. Your, your mind's not blown. Whatever they do, <laughs> as long as... They're being truthful to themselves. I think that's the big thing. Yeah. But that's really some big stuff there. Like you're saying, the instant gratification stuff is really rubbed off on our gen. Everything. Like that's, ooh. Everything. Avery, what do you think about this? That makes sense. I think that women do want to nurture and have lasting relationships eventually. I mean, they're programmed. What's they're built. Why? Why is a woman built want to nurture? to nurture? That's how their personalities have been and have always been. If but you meet a woman, they're, gives always, a woman they're generally more it caring and emotional. Something. It gives them attachment. What does it give them? What do you mean? What does nurturing someone else give a woman? It gives them feeling, feeling of fulfillment. Huge sense of fulfillment. Yeah. A huge sense of accomplishment. Yeah. So we live in a world where child yeah. bearing, child rearing. Which is difficult. And, and raising children and co- sitting in a, house, a, a kitchen six hours a day cooking for your children and preparing lunches is not looked at as something that's oh, I don't special disagree. anymore. I don't disagree. I think there's a happy medium out there for people to live. It is I think special. It's but it should, I, I'm putting it on the record. It is. I I. I being yeah. a mother is really freaking hard. I'm sure. It's, it's a yeah. lot of work. Yeah. It's yeah. a lot of work. And, and I wish I wish we lived in a world where it was recognized a lot more. Yeah. I think everything would just be better. Yeah. Isaac tries with me and it's just, I will not take the milk. I, I will not yeah. do it. It's I go, hard choo, to be a mother. Choo, I go, eh, I will it, not like, bite. No, no. Like, don't give open it to me. Open up her mouth. Blow it on first. Here comes a pace. Doesn't work. There you go. Avery. It's a hard yeah, job. Are you watching the uh, FX TV FX on Hulu. It's on Hulu. Chance are any TV Impeach- show you're going to tell me 
I not probably watching. have not watched impeachment. I watched like a lot of Bill shows, but not, I don't know. You, oh, it seems yeah. like you're it's more across the. Oh, that's all spectrum. I. That's all I. That's all I, that's all I <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm into? My job Netflix, is like I just watch. West it. I'm doing work and I look at the uh, Netflix what documentaries. Now? Oh yeah! Oh, we just saw one. Did you see Manti Teo? I I watched most. How of that great one. was that? That was, am- that was Untold awesome. is incredible. Untold. <laughs> he was into into Nene. Oh, oh, oh God! <laughs> I didn't, oh. I didn't oh. watch that one yet. That thing was cool. Uh. Oh, oh. I didn't watch it, but Untold. He's a cool dude, and I I get it because uh, yeah. I, I mean I talked about. He's a nice guy. And I, I, oh, I fell in love over <laughs> over vid, over. But I do want to say totally related to the. Guy. She was singing in there, right? You heard her sing. She had a beautiful voice. Oh yeah. He she oh, whatever. Was. Yeah yeah, I could sing. Yeah. This young lady, yeah. Poor guy. I don't even know. It's like, sad. Maybe it's, like, honestly, it's very sad that people go through that stuff. But yeah, it screwed up. That I, I, if this guy was like, I guess. There is a percep. There is a perception that maybe he just was. You know, if he was tougher, if he's just more tough. No, yeah, story. I mean he, that destroys you. You, you want to? You want to have a gender identity? Mar- you want to have a gender identity? Have a gen- uh, You want a crisis? You want to have that crisis? Yeah, he you want to screw up someone else's life. Have that crisis. It also don't happened start opening up fake social media accounts and, and turning people's lives over. Yeah, Ma- yeah. Mandy, you got. You can't do the catfish. The catfish Getting, thing. You got to meet. By literally, you gotta meet I, I as soon as people. possible. I have fish people. Oh, nice. just, I'm bold. Getting back. There you go. Get your t shirts over here right now. Wolf pack. What are we calling these things? Chef Mendy t shirt. Everybody, everybody right here. Get this shirt. Okay. Chef Instagram. Get it on Instagram. Mm. I, I, I'm not currently selling it. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, listen, if the money's right, I'll, I'll print you a I shirt. I don't mean to impinge in any way. Back to your yeah, other question. Back to your previous point. I'm just curious. And maybe you know or don't know whether or not your feeling on how the firm world is changing is potentially a reflection of where you are in life. Oh, of course. And a projection Listen. of how you feel about what goes on. Well, all our of, opinions. Which, oh, that's true, right. Which Any is opinion why, is influenced, influenced by your personal feelings. Right, since we're not, necess- I mean, we grew up in a world, right, that was surrounded by just from people. Now that we're all out in the world dealing with all various kinds of humans and people from different Hashkafic and backgrounds and, and whatever. We don't have that, that inner connection anymore. And we don't have the know-how to, to necessarily put our finger on it. So I, I would say personally, so I'll just give you a little insight. I, I learned to Kylo for a year and a half after no I got married. Yeah, well, I, mean. I wasn't a super quote-unquote yeshivish guy, but right. I was trying to fit into the box, trying to live that life, and there, there were many parts of it that I really enjoyed. And yeah, we're all there, man. Uh, with my divorce, I, I just, I don't know, I I just shifted. I shifted, and I'm not going to lie, there, there are things that I had a hard time with, and there are things that, thank God, I'm doing, <laughs> doing great in now, and and I realized that there's just certain parts of me that I'm not interested in faking for anybody. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I count myself as a from Jew. I'm Shem Shabbos. I'm Shem Kashas. I Kosher, I, I daven as much as possible. I learn. Yeah. He does daven. I've seen he davens to me four <laughs> times a day. Who, me? Mendy. Oh, Mendy. Yeah, oh, a, you're God. Start, we're, we're starting yeah. Avery, he's, in a, he's having a moment. Really he's I having, I'm, no, I'm totally here. I'm, I see the same thing you're saying also. No, so like, so I, I'm not looking. I was stuck in that space a little you bit. You get stuck in it. I was yeah. stuck in this resentful space. I was mm. stuck in this space yes. of yes. Well, just, Faith. here's the issues, here's the issues, here's the issues, right. and the right. what am I doing to me. change Ugh. my, what am I doing to change myself and, and, and exactly. change the world around me, if possible, if possible, in any way. And I realized that th- there's a very fine balance between, I've met, I've met people who, they've gone so far as where they're at the point, <coughs> you want to be not from, be not from, but to the point where they're trying they can't embrace being not from, so they're trying to stay from, and they're they're trying to touch up her in different ways. Really, like I, I've seen it time and time again. People are like, oh, <coughs> that mitzvah. It doesn't really mean. No, no, it doesn't mean that. If you have a relationship with Hashem, a relationship, and you want to have a relationship with Hashem, talk to him and say, listen, Hashem, this is something that I'm struggling with. I'm not saying this is the ideal way. Don't don't take me and no, no LOR nothing. But you say, Hashem, this is difficult mm-hmm. for me. Mm-hmm. Not don't try to touch it up differently. You don't want to keep yeah. it. Don't keep yeah. it. I struggle with it. But That's people, all. people, like people have gone is, you know, so far with that resentment, and whatever. And yeah. and there's a very fine balance to trying to figure out. Okay, where can I keep my from kite, but also have the joy, have the emotional part of things that maybe I didn't grow up with. Maybe, unfortunately, in the Litvish world, in in the Shiva world, there's a lot of focus on very, very much just about the actions. It's so much focus on the actions, and there should be focus right. on the actions. But there, I. For me personally, there wasn't enough love filtered into the actions. I'm not, 
I'm not talking about in any specific dynamic, in any specific relation di- dynamic, just in general. I didn't grow up with the feeling that that love comes before anything else in Yiddish Kaya. Mm-hmm. Or of a uh, Trank. You ever read his book? I read some of his I books. Heard of Just him. Love Them. I, I don't read any I, I met the, I met him once. Is I he on a once. podcast? No, he's not alive anymore. Oh, uh, okay. But I met him once. Uh, when I was in Camp Agoda, he came, he came to speak. And, whatever, and he had such an energy. The guy got up. He was jumping. It literally looked like he... I, Jumping out of his socks. I'm telling you, it sounds like a very yeshiva story. He was jumping out of his socks. Nice. And, and he had such a smile on his face the entire time he was there. And the stories you heard about him after where he, he, he could not kick guys out of yeshiva because he loved them too much and they needed yeah. to leave. And he was like, I can't. He couldn't. He couldn't. He had a hard time reprimanding people because, because it was just like, oh, it's going to hurt him. And, and I just love him so much. And, he was such a special person, and I'm sure yep. he had to find his own happy medium I with that. Because maybe, maybe like he that. was giving too much of the joy. Maybe he needed to be more strict. I have no idea. But, but <laughs> it's it's very hard. Now I, juxtapose that feeling though with right the feeling of not looking at from kai through love, right? Just feeling like I don't you're doing it no because love. Of, I don't want to no, say there's say no, no love. I didn't say no love. I just not feeling it through love, just by by practice per se, right? right. Doing things for practice sake, and then look at how the community generally. Right, attacked Julia Hart for her take on I'm which not, is her take. I'm not going to get into the exact specifics. Yeah. Hold on, okay. Yeah. This her is, take. There was, there was an look at how the community attacked. It. They loved running personal after her. attacks and and so, just the vengefulness against her and her family for something that's not you watch the show. Experience. You watch I, didn't, the show? I did not watch the show. I okay, had no so interest I in watching the show. Very little. Of the I watched show. very yeah. little. So I, I, watched fell, very I have little. to be honest. I, I fell asleep. I heard her book. <laughs> I'm just I'm just being, talking about her book. Maybe I wanted to support her. I wanted to support her, but yeah. I fell asleep. The <laughs> show. I listened. To she the wanted book. to get a message out there. Yeah, I respect that. Yeah, the way she did it and the extraness of what she did. Yeah. That's what was wrong. She just perseverated. She could have put heart, out a book, heart, and heart. she could have she could have written a very real account of her life. Instead, she chose to embellish and embellish. And I'm not talking about her life, but like the whole thing was it was it was it was put in onto Netflix as a as entertainment. Yeah. And 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 if you're trying to get a message out there, why why you? I think she doesn't. She was she's an entertainer. I think That's she wanted exactly to get. I think is. she wanted to get a message out. But she I don't. Think, had a I don't story. think. She, I don't think she had the ability in herself to only just give a message. To just give a message. My thinking is her whole career. Her her mother was a psychologist, a steam psychologist, she had two degrees, who were immigrants, and her life. They were told, and she's a very very smart woman, and her parents told her, or they were both geniuses, both her parents. They lived in Texas for a while. She was always the new kid. She was an immigrant. She was a child of immigrants, and she was always trying to be the best Mm -hmm. in whatever it is she was doing. She worked six jobs. She worked for some yeshivish guy selling life insurance. insurance. She did amazing. She was ambitious. She She did that. She went to this. She went to design. She went. She was ambitious. She created and she was different. Creative and different. And she realized, as like the Kardashians grew and all the reality TV. Stars and and Netflix grew itself and was giving out opportunities. She found an opportunity and she profited on it. I don't blame her for taking. Hello, business person. That's what she did with her marriage too. Someone called me up and said, and and, and my my story isn't tragic like hers. Yeah, but someone called me up and said, "I'll pay you for your story, whatever it is, whatever your story is. I'll pay you for your story. It would be very hard not to sell my story." Yeah. Oh yeah. It's very right. right. Money on the table. Yeah, I was defending her also. I mean, she's a capitalist. I I don't know about. I wasn't like. How many people would say no? She had a good story. Oh, and dude, bro, sell, make the money, make the money. <sighs> I don't know. Steve oh, there's Silver like some real... didn't take a penny for uh, Schindler's List of all yeah, people. Wow, they actually wrote direct the movie. Shh. Didn't take a penny. That's, he donated it all, but not everyone's going to do that. Commendable. He was already rich, right? <laughs> this woman made yeah off of money. Star Wars. The guy took his. Yeah, I'll take she was already percent. rich herself. So, yeah, to that point, I get it. But I don't know. Listen, I, I think I think she had every right to state her message. It was there was a lot of extra. I like that. I I agree. People do that. I think she, we all I do that. We all do that. When yeah. we want to get a point across, I we, think she we had a good go over the top sometimes. At the end of the day, as from observant Yidin who really feel like there's a godly sense out there, I think the first thing, the first point of recognition is to just realize that, all right, God's sending us a message here. God's sending us a message here. We have a broken young lady, well, old lady, a broken middle, whatever, at her age, broken lady, you can see the pain. You can see the way she talked. Her kids were like, dude, this was in our backyard. 
This was in our backyard. Oh, These, I'm sure there were plenty of The Chabad. family, the girls were in yesh- yesh- yeshivas I know. I have friends who went to those. It was crazy. Oh, everyone, everyone. I've it was met crazy. so many people who know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody, yeah. The point and is. But like this though, was on TV. So seeing that was like the, really the, the, astonishing. The point is though, kill them with kindness. Embrace the people for differences. And embrace embracing her as opposed to Shunning. sitting on Twitter and destroying and attacking and right. coming up with different reasons why she's she's this, that, and the other. It's Whatever hard, names you can hard, come for. Hard. She's a, she's a machla. She's people, a cancer. People, right. I didn't, see, I didn't like that. Feel like she right. I didn't like that. But people right. do feel like she undermined a lot of the food. Oh, yeah. She did. Yeah. And, she, and she did. She, she did, shook yeah. it up a She gave bit. him a big... She these are the same people who said that going to City Field is a sin and uh, watching TV... All of a sudden, we're on Zoom doing <laughs> right. All the right, isn't that interesting? Zoom, right? Listen, I mean, internet's here. Hashem gave us a, lesson, uh, right? Hashem gave us these mitzvahs to live the best ideal life that we can in this world. Yeah. Simply, simply put, and this isn't my own words; these are things I've heard from other people, and we do our best to keep them. And to say, because someone is having a hard time in this area, area, this we spoke about this when I posted this on my status. We did. Yeah. Should, oh, I forgot I, about should I, that. Should I say the story a little bit? Yeah, okay, yeah. So I'm, I'm down. Yeah, absolutely. As so long as you're open to it. I heard, I heard from somebody that some, got back to me that someone had asked about me shid- shidduch-wise. And the person who was giving the information said a few things about me, which were all very true. Very, very honest things, which maybe not a lot of people know, but things were very true. And I was like, okay, this is, this, this is the truth. I can't argue with this stuff, right? Right. And then they said, apparently, again, I'm paraphrasing from what I heard, and I'm sure the words were changed up from person to person, but they basically said, six months ago, he, he really didn't, didn't care about Yiddishkeit at all. Now, through my divorce and maybe my shift, I've, I've had things that I've struggled with. I never gave up on Yiddishkeit. I never gave up on, on trying to be the way I want to be from Kite Wise, and that's more than I am right now. And it bothered me. It really bothered me to hear this. First of all, obviously it bothered me. It bothered me as a person. You don't want to hear you don't want to hear something about yourself like that. And it was yeah. it was not true. That was what bothered me. other stuff didn't bother me because you're just st- stating truth. And it bothered me even more because I have friends, people I know who have been divorced, who I don't I don't know if we want to if we want to put this, but basically someone I know got divorced. I know exactly why she got divorced. I know her the type of person her husband was is. Wow, Neil's to say he's not. Super I think you could say it because I, I, I've been more o- so, open minded so to it. Like so calling it. Calling someone was telling me about her. Someone said, "Oh, you heard she got divorced." I said, "Yeah, sure, I heard." And I know why they got divorced. And they and the thing person with the divorce said, community, you guys all like talk. To each other. I mean, people do share a lot I more tried with the divorce person. They do. You <laughs> tried get in. I tried getting in. Bro. Someone gave me. Try. Someone gave a bracha yeah. to someone you know? once when I was near them, which was like. I give you a bracha that you should have the ability to get divorced. Oh wow! Oh wow! No, because you because you really you. You crawl out of that that hole and you just you're you're reborn. Well, you, you die. Know. It's it's another you know? chance. It's I another, have it's I'm, another I, chance. I'm not divorced, but I fell in love with. I mean, fell in love. I know it's an American divorce. Yeah. I should have dated. We fell in love. I I I talked about it on one of these episodes, one of the podcasts, and I was I was in a hole. I was in a hole for six months, like when it didn't work out. Yeah, listen, divorce divorce and climbing out kills of that, everyone. Like, oof. Like it was rough. I mean, relationships, relationships, yeah. breaking up well, relationships. There was kills a ring, everyone. but uh, she didn't take it. <laughs> okay, but that's gonna kill you. That's gonna hurt you. Yeah. Um, but it was saying. a it was a candy ring, so I can kind of oh, understand. Avery. Avery, that was I'm kidding. Was someone, it was your ring. Avery, come on, you can man. have it. Someone you see how he talks to me, people. I am a bitter soul. <laughs> You were so continuing. So tell us. Someone person. was telling me about this girl, and they said, "Yeah, you heard she got divorced. Yeah, you heard why she got divorced." I said. Whatever, I, I'm not getting involved in this conversation. I heard, I heard that she leans a certain way sexually, Oof. which was completely untrue, completely right. untrue, totally untrue. Yeah. And I said to this person, I said, "How can you say that? How can you just drop this information like that? You can't do that. You're talking about someone's life. She has kids. She's trying. She's going to want to get married again. A million percent. Why? Why? And, percent. and this is I've heard. I've heard it more than once. Other type. Other people. Other situations. People just talk about." Divorce or relationships, people talk about people and just drop information. It's crazy. And just oh, I heard this. I heard th- 
You heard what he spent on this. You heard what <laughs> they spent on this. You heard. What? We just talk. Well, this is gossip. I I, cares. I have because literally it impacts it's, people. No, so I understand that at the end does. of this in story. This. So hold on. So to, to, to back because oh, he's yeah. a story in his story. It was it was, then, it was inception. Regarding, right. <laughs> regarding yeah, no questions on the story. Which is possible, by the way. We'll talk about that. <laughs> I've it's had called a, dreamscaping. I tell you right now, oh. I, it's happened. I've done two levels. I've done. I've woken up and I was in a dream and then I woke up. That's insane. I've done it. You can dreamscape. You can control your dream. I've never done it. I want. Can, do you'll have to come back and I have do a friend who flew who intentionally flew in their dream oh wow it's a trip I love that anyway so tell me how to do it the person who said to me not the person who said to me but hearing about me that oh I heard that he doesn't care he, six months ago he didn't care about either guy so if you're a close friend of mine and you know exactly where I am either guy wise first of all you wouldn't say that because you know I've never been like that right it's not their place and obviously you don't know how can you just drop information that you don't know mm. straight up it's a chutzpah yeah Anywho, Jews love, I'm people love, people I'm not love gossiping. On Jews. I mean, I'm, I'm not even going to say it. We, we, people stop. love gossiping. People love it. But it impacts I have people. made comments to people when they would be a douchebag, <laughs> and I'd be like, now I know why I get divorced. So just to shove it in. Uh, that's a class okay? one. That's a class one. But then they come back, they fire back. I only do it when they could fire back and they go, now I know why you're single. <laughs> I'll, I'll do I'll do that because I respect the sibling, the single siblinghood, as I call it. Gossip, gossip, gossip is superficial. But I, I tell but someone. It's not what it's it was. Superficiality. Gossip people has People who are unhappy Ooh. with themselves. That need to point out the flaws in others. And again, right. it's so always this used to happen. This always happens. This it, has happened it, since the beginning of time. Of course. There's yeah. a difference now. And it was the The difference is now is that we have the internet, we have social media, and we have everything. You can promulgate it like this much light. quicker. It's, yeah. So when you yeah. say something, you have to realize if someone says this, this fact to me or what they think is a fact, I can then go text 10 people within the span of a minute and ask them if I was the type of person to ask, yeah. I would have texted 10 people and they're like, did you hear the such and such about such and such? And people do that. And in the span of a minute, there you go, ruining someone's life. Oh, my Waller's team did so it. So it's, okay. it's not the gossip. It's not gossip. It's not the gossip. Well, it, it's, it's about who you allow to control yourself. Meaning people can talk about whatever it is I do or don't do. They can text, they can WhatsApp, they can Instagram. I could care less because these people have zero control they have they released zero space in my mind what if you have a child that's again the same thing can, if should apply. Child? the no, same theory should, should apply. it doesn't it's not the reality as if you much, have a child it becomes i can't even it is a part i get it you have to think about how it's going to impact them oh yeah i understand that's the differences but from a point of view where and and this is can an I attachment say, can i say maybe this, you don't i don't have a child you're right is i have a family my parents and i I have yeah, parents. You're an adult. Somebody says something about my parents. Is yourself, yes. The person at the end of the day, I go to grave, and the only person I have to answer for is myself. Right. Who else? No. Until you have kids, it's different. If I'm gone I was tomorrow, you about I, it. if I'm gone tomorrow, I have to answer for more than just myself. Right. Well, that's I, what I. Well, was, that's a disagreement of philosophy because I think that it ultimately, individually, Avery, even, until they're until they're grown ups, until they're grown ups, even that. But I'm saying, even that, you have a young child, yeah. you're you're responsible. I mean, you are to an extent. There's no line. For your, how much no are you responsible for your child? Yeah, there's no line where you have to think, oh, is this going to affect someone else? If it, it depends what it if is. If you were married, w- would you be saying something different? Yeah, you would. Is this a religious determination? No, it's is this financial? No, no, no. Financial support? We're not talking about a specific thing that you're doing. I'm well, talking I think about it makes in general. Yeah. No. Financially? There's every, every area of life, if you have a child or if you have yeah. a wife or if you have a partner or a spouse, whatever it is, yeah. whatever you want to call it, every aspect of life is something you have to think about. There's there's aspects in the financial world. Oh, now I have to make more money. Yeah. There's emotions. Oh, I have to communicate more. You dictate the spirituality. Terms of the I have to maybe listen for me, for me to for me to wake up every day and decide. You know what? Let's say I decided. You know what? What's in the, by the Mormons? I think the rooms rooms. The, rooms, the Mormons, rooms, they, they wear like tits. No, they go away they for a year. Tits, I know. They go away for a year. Oh, those are the, the, Amish, the, Amish. the Amish. They go away for a year. They have like well, off the derech here. Right. So the Amish <laughs> have that. The, the Amish have that. And 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 if if I decided I want to do that, just want to drop out the map for you, I can't. Even if I wanted to. Oh right, because I yeah. have a child. It's not. Forget about from I'm that. not even talking about. I, I get that. I have to think about him. Yeah, I'm oh, saying we have the one. We I'm have not a, saying we have a, that's a responsibility. Yeah, I'm saying it's not none. Of this but also, you have you do have a certain freedom. I will say you mm-hmm. also have something to live for, which is a hundred different. So you know? I say this all the time. That's if not for my son, right? I would be a would, mess today. I don't be, know where I would. Be. I would be somewhere in Chile, right. like chilling. What would you do? <laughs> I, what would, right. 
I probably would have traveled and I gotta go find myself, man. I'll do it. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna do it for you. I gotta Andy. go find myself, man. Gonna, yeah. Where should I go? Where should I go? I could go anywhere. I just want to go to I probably would have gone like to Thailand, India. <laughs> oh, I want to go. I want to go. Actually, I don't know India. <laughs> Seen some medicine man in the Mayans. I want to go, but I just tell you like this. Like, what's stopping I'll, you? I just want someone to arrange everything for me. I don't want to do anything. I can't, I'm I can't so just up. drop. I no, can't what's stopping him? Oh, hey, stop hey, yeah. oh, you should go. You should do this. <laughs> Where would I? What would I do? Who's going to run? Find you and I. Are you going to run the podcast? I, I will not run the work. podcast. It's going to go to a podcast. I need to work. Go, I'm going to do the go. podcast from Chile. I could find. I'm you I'm here a very nice in Boro Park eating at the new restaurant Chile. You're going to record it on a tape recorder and send <laughs> and send it back in an envelope so we could play. <laughs> it ever, right, right mm-hmm. in an envelope with internet. A, there, there's, uh, oh, I'm the sure internet's there's internet terrible. Oh, oh yeah, but like it's terrible. I've never terrible. been there. You've been there? India, it's terrible. India? No, I just, we do IT work like over there. It's the room. Israeli inter- internet. Do IT terrible. work in India? Yeah, like we have, they have, we have call centers. But they have there. no IT <coughs> in India. Oh. No, they do. Half of India doesn't even have internet. Over there. Half of India doesn't have internet yet. <laughs> that, oh, that's well, there. Billy, bajillion. Well, the half that does country. is royally messing us over all the time. It really <laughs> is not good. They're, they're doing enough of the job for the whole country. <laughs> so I love what you're saying there Customer about uh, about you got to watch. That's that's real, by the way. That's I think real Lushan Hara. Gossip. That's real Lushan Hara that people need to be like more, just just more perceptive of, more aware of. If there's, sometimes I'll catch myself like I'm trying to explain to someone a situation. So well, a lot of times in Shaduchim, I'll just be like, oh wait, I'm you know what. Honestly, it's not it's not my place, and I've kind of actually trained my mind to that place to just be like, it's just not my place. And and let me tell you, for guys, it's really tricky because you have should you have shadchanim who call you up as a reference, or or they call your references and they gauge they gauge when you're the reference they gauge you. Right. Well, what do you mean? What do you mean he's he's more modern these days? What do you mean he? What do you mean she 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 likes she's she's modern. Sneeze. What does that mean? And you like, am I the person to tell? What do you convey over? What do you give over? It's and that's where I kind of realize that I kind of just I stop things dead in the traps uh, in the tracks, and I say, I said, I'm not going to sit there and talk about that. Let me tell you about this person. Or let how me tell you what they I are. Know. Let me tell you. What let me I tell know, you what I, I know. Tell you what I'm I don't not know. here. I said, if you're looking for a fishing ex- excavation, expedition. right? Is expedition. A fishing that, expedition. Go join. <laughs> go join Bob Merrick Gardner oh, and and, uh, and the tr- and go to Adam Trump. Schiff go and look yes, for yes, Trump yes, over there. Go that. go do that. You go that. on a fishing okay. expedition. Expedition. Okay. Expedition. Go trip. Fishing trip. trip. <laughs> fishing trip. Like expedition. seriously, what? Like you like the bigger words? What are you he, doing? It's not, it's not for it's Isaac. A big, it's an Isaac is a man of the people. I am. Thank you. Isaac, I am. That's what if I Isaac was running for mayor, Isaac would be wearing a t-shirt and jeans. Uh, I would. <laughs> running for mayor. No, no, With a cigar this. in his mouth, kissing babies. I would cigar. kiss babies. <laughs> I would kiss the you would be holding the babies. Baby. Would, I'd kiss the rabbis. I would I would be. I'm a man of the man. I'm the comeback kid. You sound yeah. like a Kennedy right now. I'm talking like President Slick Willie. President Price Clinton. gas now. It's cheaper to buy crack and <laughs> run at places than buy <laughs> gas and drive places. Bro. Ted, uh, okay. That was Ted Kennedy? One of the Kennedys. Kennedy's. Was, that uh, killer. Uh, probably said Sen- no. There's a senator. Oh, oh, there's, oh you're talking about nuts. John Bobby. Ken- Senator John Kennedy. He, is, he should be from, in office forever. He's great. <laughs> you're the talking about is, uh, the Republican senator from 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 Louis Louisiana. I don't know. He's great. Yeah, no, yeah. His name's John. I think it's John Ken- like, senator John Kennedy. Senator Kennedy. John Kennedy from Louisiana. He's great. Right. He gets on. He goes. The biggest. Uh, Sean, Sean <laughs> let me tell you, Sean, what the Biden administration has done <laughs> Honestly, is just absolutely Congress absurd. is so unsuccessful. Sean Hannity. The Republicans, you can't understand what they're saying. Okay. Between Mitch McConnell, <laughs> John Kennedy, <laughs> Lindsey Graham, that, you don't know what that's the hell they're talking that about. Problem. That and, is and, the real and issue. And Biden can't even put two words together. And Trump, by the way, Trump. Uh, what, he's not better when he no, talks. He's, Trump he's, talks he's, about 30, he's, sing, 30 things. It's right. like this so podcast. All the New Yorkers understand <laughs> Trump. But the thing is, is the New Yorkers are spread across the talk. country. We, right? So we understand. How many topics we have we covered? How many topics have we covered in this hour? Uh, uh, Quite a few. Uh, a lot. Uh, that's the ADHD. Speaking of topics, ADHD is, is, speaking of topics what else you got on there? Yeah, oh, that's why I wanted to bring, because we're bringing up politics, okay? Because I know we have a few minutes I stay out of politics. I stay out of the news. Speaking of Speaking of politics. Speaking of politics. Like this inflation stuff. This is going on. I wanted to ask you 
Tell our brothers oh, and sisters. That? One of our listeners just died. <laughs> <laughs> I am not, I'm not how do a they, financial how do guy. They, no, no, no. But you buy food and you prep oh, food. Budget? And, budget? Yeah. What could people start doing like, to maybe help on the on the, on the the Steigo dollars? As we used to say in Dora, Dora Golding. What can they do? I've actually, I've thought of some ideas, but you go ahead. I want to hear from I'm a, not a the professional best guy for this. chef. I'll tell you why. Because you not, just go big, you blow the budget. No, no I, I only work. With, no, I only work with people. If some, if I'm on the phone with somebody and they start telling me, "Listen, I want to keep it exactly this number. We can't go over this number," and and I don't think that's a good number. I tell them, "You're not my client." Yeah, Be, I, I mean, I don't say it exactly like that, but yeah, I, I turn them down because fired. I need to have. I fired. I fired. I fired. <laughs> you you trumped them. I fired. Oh. Before. <laughs> you you have standards. I'm happy to hear that. That's it's a something good I learned thing. in sales. Yeah, it's well, something I learned in sales. You I have, have to sales. you have Oof. to be happy with the people you're working, working with. You have to be able mm. to feel good about servicing a client, and yeah. especially when I'm cooking for someone in your home. Oh yeah, if I'm cooking in your home and we don't get along, then then it's not going to bad work vibes. At all. It's bad not going to work for me. It's not going to work for you. It's not. And when I cook, I just want to get back into the emotions piece. <laughs> when I cook, cooking is very emotional. Food is very emotional, and if I'm not feeling good when I'm cooking, my food does not come out as good. There have been times where there have been times where I'm ex- an extremely good place emotionally and mentally. My food is fire, and I remember I remember I was doing a demo for for a client, and I was just I had so much on my mind. I did not do a good job. Thank God I got the sale, but I did not do a good job. It's it's food is very emotional. But to go back on what you were saying before, I don't work within a budget usually or a tight budget, so I'm not the best guy. But I will tell you, if for throwing parties, you want to throw a party. You want to throw, you, you want to have a birthday night. You want to have a birthday yeah. night. That's like a good way to do thing, that yeah. in, a, in a budgetary way. And this is when clients come to me and they start telling me, okay, I want this amount of meat. I want these many meat dishes and chicken dishes. And then I tell them what it's probably going to cost. They're like, whoa. Yeah. I say, okay, there's another way to do this. We load up the menu. More d'herbs. Side dishes side and salad. Dishes, right. salad. And there's right. so much to do. Yeah. And, and people get Phil also because they <sighs> get the Jewish like Pesach program. Yeah. anxiety when they come to these things and oh my god I need food I gotta eat everything I gotta eat everything and it's just like, bro one at a time one at a time just stell it out right you know? so you have you, what, what I usually do with clients is I just have a ton of side dishes and some of those side dishes have meat but they don't have a ton of meat mm-hmm. so people go for the dishes because when you're by these events you want meat and potatoes sometimes yeah. right? oh, meat and potatoes the millennials actually say salad toppings on the salad <laughs> it's all about the salad toppings please play the it's not about the salad so uh, there, no. say, where's which one? Avery? There you go. Oh, there you yeah. go. Okay. Because so, oh, Avery, I they actually they only get activated when you say something. Oh, is that how it works? <laughs> so a good dish. I didn't know your hand was artificial intelligence. It, it is. By itself. It has it a knows. mind of its own. It's a good dish, by okay. the way. A great dish. I would say a cheap dish that is a huge crowd pleaser. A huge crowd pleaser. Loaded fries. Every oh, loaded, loaded fries. Loaded yes. Fries. I put that out. Yes. It is gone in a snap of a finger. Uh, yeah. It's got meat. And it's it's like got fried onions. It's got sauces. It's got fake potatoes. Cheese fake cheese. Or cheese or if like you have fake cheese. Potatoes. I like how you yeah. say that. Potatoes. You have an accent. Potatoes. I love meat and potatoes. That, uh, potatoes. Is that potatoes. for the show or is that just? As whenever I say meat and potatoes, potatoes, I say yeah. meat and potatoes. Oh yeah. wow. It's like a mild a Tourette's. Road uh, a mild <laughs> Tourette's. Road mild yeah. Rover and Alba. Yeah. I, food, I food Tourette's. Mashed oh, potato. Okay. Mashed potato. Yeah. So that's a good. Yeah, I like, so, oh, but so, I can't. I can't tell so you. That's, so you. So that's interesting. So you're saying like, oh, t- honestly, I'm tired. Wait a second. You just helped me out here. So I know what I'm gonna do for tomorrow by lunch. I'm gonna go to the kosher food store and I'm gonna buy like frozen fries, which are like pricey already. Like it's, you might as well get regular fries. But anyway, like six seventy five to make fresh fries. Is, and is I'll difficult. just put cheese on them. I'll just put process. cheese on them. Yeah. Put a little fake whatever. Some put some in the microwave. Some bam. Baked beans, some baked oh, beans. some baked beans. I love this. Cheese, baked beans. I'm going to try it. A little bit of pastrami. Hello, this really helps, dude. Thank you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Avery. But uh, in general, I'm going to. Let's see if this happens. Let's I can see. tell right, you. Probably not. All right, I'm going to put yeah. so much effort. He's coming in. back with takeout from. Uh, right. I'm going <laughs> to. Yeah. I'm literally. Not like, even. That's what's going to happen. Wendy's. <laughs> no, I literally. I went. Where did I go? I went to some like. What, literally what happened to you in the beginning of the podcast like you were working in a kitchen and you like you had to go to just order food oh it was a Shabbaton like we did the Shabbaton this week which by the way initially it was, it was you guys lit. Want, you it was initi- lit do you know initially do you know how many conversations I had with Isaac I, I know I know first of all I, I was there know. for so, half so let, of them let's talk and about I told I him talk I said about this. this is your guy I want to talk said, about Isaac this. this is your guy we have to talk about this because yeah, this, sure. this isn't about you you guys something that happens and you asked a little bit about the evolution of food in the food world 
yeah. something that I've noticed is that people want the bigger and better, but they can't afford the bigger and better. So you guys came to me, for example, and you wanted to hire a private chef, which is great. And I'm glad that you wanted to do it. The question is, can you afford it? The budget, yeah. Can the budget afford it? I know. If you can't afford it, you can't get it. Now, you guys were fine. Eventually, you were, okay, we're not going to do it because it doesn't make sense. Yeah. Because you were doing it as an organization. You're not necessarily doing this fully for the profit or whatever. But coming from a family, people call me up and they're like, I want a private chef. I said, sure. Okay, what's going to cost me? Well, we go through the menu. We go through the ideas, whatever. It's going to cost you this. It's going to cost you $2,000. Okay. My budget's 1500 What I want to say is, well, I'm sorry, then you can't hire a private chef. Yep. Yep. I can't say that. And we realized that. We we, we called because up. Because you guys. Like a, and they made the food. And then we like found a bucher to right. like happens to be. The bucher canceled last second. And my friend's chef actually. But we had to pay him real, real money to come. Uh, he didn't co- charge for, for prepping. Okay. okay. But yeah. No. It's crazy. Because the, the thing is when you're throwing. And we're going to do an episode on on, on sh- sh- throwing singles events in Shabbat oh, Well, we got out of it. <laughs> you love it. And like it's the problem hassle. is is that like singles do not, will not pay more than like somewhere between 300 and 370. That's it. That is the most they're going to go. <laughs> You're talking about probably 250. And do you blame to them? To 350. Do you blame I, them? I, I don't. I know because I know they're on a budget. Everyone's you know? on a budget. And we fundraised. We just, we went to every single guy I had on my phone <laughs> and we got, You guys come got on. some funding? You guys got some we funding? We did. No, we did. I mean, put it this way. We, with fundraising a lot of money, we, we still broke even. I just uh, I, I had my I had we I had a free ride uh, right. I came for free All right. and like most of the staff came for free right. the staff donated their time yeah no of course it was crazy yeah, like come for free yeah, yeah. and uh, it was it that was it and now like we're looking to do a different but we'll we're gonna talk about it in uh, in the, another the questions you know, you sent, <laughs> another episode the questions you sent me yesterday uh, I think we had yeah because I know we have a few more answer. minutes you I wanted to minutes? just take a look yeah we got five more minutes here. If there was anything else on there. Avery, do we have any sponsors today? No, no we have some sponsors. Yeah, we do. Oh, uh, we should do a sponsor for you. You have a little write up. We'll do I mean, Chef Mendy. Follow me on Instagram, Chef Mendy Wolf. Hey, mm-hmm. guys, follow this guy. Um, follow this cool guy. Follow me too at, sh- I got to change mine to Chef Eyes. No, Podcaster Isaac. Podcaster Oh, Isaac. build a, build a bias. Isaac. Is that's already taken. Is it, what's your, what's the build a bias Instagram? Build a bias? <laughs> Avery, Avery, you're my, my you're deputy. Asking me as if I what? Know. That last one. <laughs> oh, yeah. The last one is awesome, no? I, I don't understand it. So basically, well, I, I might I, not answer I messed it. them up. So I wanted to actually say, and this is what we'll, let, we'll leave off, okay? I was going to ask is something else, but okay. Fu- is food a placebo for physical intimacy? For America's gotten very <sighs> promiscuous, sexual. And in the Jewish community, I just notice it's like there's more and more food. I like real rabbis, and 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 a few of these real rabbi, few of these rabbis who have been talking, I've been listening, have my ear, are the hey, ones that are saying, if you're like getting high off of like food, like Shabbos day f- kiddish, right. you're not, you're like, you're not, you're not doing things right. You gotta figure, you gotta therapy, whatever. Go for a run. It's interesting you say this because I actually forgot to add this to the point that I was making earlier. So it's going to answer some of your question, your first question about the rise of uh, different types of food coming into the Jewish world, right? And different types of styles and hiring a private chef. I think the reason it's become such a huge thing is because as Jews, we talk a lot about being loftier. We talk a lot about being on a higher spiritual level, giving in less to our base desires, right? So... To kind of answer your question, yeah, food is something that's mutter in the form. There's right. there's nothing inherently wrong with it. I mean, if you go out in the world, there's a program called OA. There's there's food addicts. There's, well, there's yeah. a whole, that's a whole separate story. But food really is a very okay thing. So to be, and and, be, and in the Torah, in Gemara, in the, mis, the Mizbeach, what do you mean? Was, the Mizbeach was meat, and they would eat the meat, and they would... Offer it up to Hashem, we eat the meat. Whatever it is, food always it has been a, a, a spiritual thing it's in, in some ways, and it is a spiritual thing, it is an emotional thing, but it's also a very okay thing. There's nothing wrong with it inherently. So when a, a from Jew who may be, yeah, maybe, maybe the guy has other types, maybe the guy wants to do other things, and he has a way to give in to Gashmius, okay? He has a way to give in to Gashmius without it being such a bad thing. 
I guess that's uh, something people people could turn to. Yeah, it's um, <laughs> it's like an outlet. It's an addiction. It could be an could addiction. Be an addiction. It, it could be an addiction. It could, just, it could just be an outlet. It could be. It's an outlet. Oh, well, no. like I, really? Be. If Obsession. I were, let's say a guy, a guy's the type of guy. If he wasn't from and he wasn't doing Duffy Yummy at night, what would he be doing? Right, he would be going to the bar every night with his friends. Right? That's what I Daf do. Yami, by the way, not the not the people not the people who do Daf Yami on online. Daf Yami people who go for the shirim. It's not just about Daf Yami. It's the camaraderie. It's yeah. the people. Right, getting away from the going wife. to shul. I got it. Uh, getting away from the wife, if you want to put it there. Uh-huh. So oh, okay. So when you have Kids too. when yeah. you have the camaraderie, so a guy a guy like that, let's say once in a while he wants to throw a party, right? Mm. From Jews, not going to throw a crazy rave. What will he do? He'll hire a private chef. Yeah. yeah, sit down and chill right. with some cigars right. and around the That's fire. That's what I'm saying. It's 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 but a not healthy, even just okay that. outlet. I think it's, you it's could, allowed. Us us rebellious singles will basically say it's not just that. <sighs> it's not just the rave and then the and the whatever whatever the umasailums press the dicker into. It's also let's throw a let's throw a learning party. Bro, you have a family. You have a life. You got you got wrongs. You got a right. You got rights. You got a wrong. You gotta you gotta live your. It, it was. I think, Reb, Reb, I want to say Reb Moshe Feinstein, I don't know, I don't think it was, who went to the Appalachian Mountains, and one of his, like, goodbye was like, well, well, why did the Rav go? And he's like, can you imagine God asking me, did you, did you not see, how did you not see the Appalachian? Right. How the did Appalachians. he not see Breaking Bad I either? I don't know. Or I Game of Thrones. Good stuff. Well, I, I don't want to. The rabbi's a busy you can man. Use the I same terminology say. for like secular things as no. well. No, God no, created it, so we must there's indulge. There's certain right? lines. There's certain yeah. lines which we all agree is a drug. People talk about the <laughs> consciousness and the highs, right? LSD, MDMA. It's there yeah. for a reason. Get people That's high true. and get into a spiritual I heard, level. I think the for rabbis example. used to like back Why in the day. Why did we not? Every single person has to try every single thing. Well, right, with, not, that right, logic, right, with that right. logic, with that logic, no, it's it's R- R- whatever, on comes, his level, whatever comes, whatever R- comes R- on his level, right? Yeah, he keeps himself to. Can, can we agree that the way he lived his life was probably on a higher spiritual level than us? I mean, yeah, definitely, not even yeah, probably, yeah, yeah. sure. sure. Oh, right? yeah. Yo, bro, can we agree? That can me? we agree that that <laughs> probably the combination of him learning and him, he obviously didn't watch movies. He obviously didn't see a lot of secular yeah. stuff. Can we agree that kept him on a spiritual high? I definitely kept it's him on some sort of... It's not for everybody. It's not for everybody. Some sort of... Him. It's uh, not for Psychological everybody. high, uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Sure. So for him, for him, giving in to Gashmi, it's not even giving in, but appreciating Gashmi, is, is only going to hit a certain level. He doesn't yeah. have to go do something crazy. Hey, hey, listen, I'm, again, I'm no LOR. It's not... It's my, my, just my it per, is my L-O. personal <laughs> hashka. My personal hashka is my birthday, actually, in two days. My personal hashka. Oh, hashkot. get... Bro, we have the same birthday. September 3rd. I'm the fifth. September fifth. Virgos, Virgos, baby, go there. Go yeah, there. yeah, Virgo, man. yeah, Virgos. yeah. Well, we should. Oh, yeah. we should. We can talk about that. We come. Oh, you should come on. We're gonna do an episode with that stuff. Okay, but so, anyway, yeah, no, go finish. Yeah, yeah, go so, finish up. Yep. So we're here on this world, right? To, I don't. There's a million. There's a. There's a million reasons. I was just living, listening to Robert Kiyo Tats in the car. Actually, oh, he's the best. He is so fascinating. Yeah. But there's so many reasons. Pe- pe- some people say, "Oh, it's only one reason. We're just here to serve Hashem." There's, there's serving Hashem. There, there, there's growth. There's, there's bringing joy to the world. Hashem right. created this world for a reason. He needs us here. There's, there's nuances to why we're here. Yeah. To say that Hashem doesn't want us to enjoy this world is crazy. But if someone says, if someone says, Shimu, four, Shimu, five. Oh, sorry, my assistant's calling me. Okay. If, <laughs> if someone, go ahead. If someone says, "I'm not going to enjoy this world at all," again. I, I, I think is crazy. Right. I, right. I, I personally don't see why Hashem would put him on this world to not enjoy a single iota of what the physical world is. Now, everyone has their own levels, but that, that's kind of where this, uh, where cooking and private chefing comes yes. in. It's, yes. There's a yes. certain amount of that going on where it is, if a person has the money and they're doing good things with their money and they're taking care of the kids and they're giving tzedakah, yeah. Spend a little money on private chef. Spend a little money on private chef. Indulge Avengers, a little you're bit. A hedon- you're a hedonist. I see. <laughs> I know. I'm. I'm, become, I'm, I'm, I'm. I, 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 I like hedonist. to. Th- I like to think I'm, yeah. I'm a pretty like middle of the road type of guy. Uh-huh. I think you are. And I mean, I, that's I what think, stuck out a, to me. Yeah. I think there's a certain. Most of the things that are missing from everything we do, and uh, something I struggle with, is having just a fine balance, a happy medium. I met a guy. He's actually a non-Jewish guy. I met a guy. who's part of a therapy program I did. You look at me when you say non-Jewish. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm talking to you about this, but yeah, I'm kidding. As if I'm not Jewish. You seem more open <laughs> to these things. Like. Yeah. 
He, yeah, he, he used this word equanimity. No, the big words confuse him. Oh, he used this word equanimity. equanimity. Yeah. And he used to describe Something it as a, about sail, we're all a sailboat. Equal. And mm -hmm. there's a sailboat in the wind, and the sailboat's going from one side to the other, to the other, to the other. And there's the keel. It's called even keeled, right? Even the reason. yank, man. There's the oh, middle, exactly. which we're always constantly should be aiming for. The point is not to aim crazy high. The point is to yeah. aim for the best of one part, best of the other part, the best of the other part, and you have a happy medium. Right. Yeah. Here's my psychological goal for it. you. I love it. I love it. I love it. Well, no, and Mendy, appreciate the words he had to say. You're fervent about this. I'm a There's passionate this, guy. Yeah. I'm a pas You know what? Yeah. I wouldn't have been able to yeah. become a private chef if I didn't have passion. You have to have it yeah. today. You, you know? have to want to... You have to want to work like a dog sometimes. You have, yeah, I know. Sometimes, I, know. I only know from this one little event that I did. But <laughs> we're gonna get to the closing right after this. Thanks for joining us. Episode eighty-one is in the books. Food, family, and guilt. Here, didn't discuss the guilt. I know. Well, you'll come back for part two. <laughs> um, we're gonna have me back. Chef Mendy Wolf. Mendy, where can the people find you? Should they want more information on you? Do people give out their personal phone numbers on here? Um, no, like Instagram, a crazy, email. Right? I'm know. on Facebook, Mendy Wolf. I'm on Instagram, oh, Chef wow. Mendy Wolf. Mm, nice. Um, if you probably message me on, on Instagram and you'd like to follow my WhatsApp status also where I post a little more mm. in my Instagram status, you can DM me. Um, yeah. Like awesome. my stuff on Instagram. Life it, baby. All right. As I usually end off, Happy face, smiley face, silly face. This is the Nobody Talk Shidduchim Podcast. Hey, everybody. It's IJ from the Nobody Talk Shidduchim Podcast. I want to take a moment to tell you about our new affiliate program. Inflation's up, some economic problems. Here you go. Here's a few bucks off on your businesses or personal life or just for fun. I want you to take a look at shouldapodcast.com under affiliates where you can get 10% off for starting your first website, a few bucks for your graphics created with Canva, or just hire someone to do this with Fiverr. Check this out at shouldapodcast.com and click the affiliates link. Alchi's Media Network.